Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Julia and I'm going to be talking today about my cross stitch projects that I've been working on for the past few weeks. I have some uh, new starts and a little bit of things that I picked up from the thrift store and I also have some finishes and yeah, I'm excited to get into it. So if you want to make yourself a hot beverage, I have um, some tea here from Trader Joe's. It's the Harvest Blend, I believe it's called. And it is my favorite tea of all time. I think it's seasonal, just like during the fall season, but if you ever see it at Trader Joe's, pick up a few boxes because it's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna start with my uh, whips. And I have um, three that I've been working on. Two are new starts and one you guys have seen before. So I'll start with that one. This is called Saturn, and this is by the shop Stitching Land. Um, this is this is what the finished product will look like. And I have made some really good progress on this since my last video. I am over halfway done. This is where I'm at. So I think, actually I have this little cardboard thing. That might help. So I have finished all of basically up until here is this is all filled in here. So um, I think Pattern Keeper says I'm like 67% finished or something like that. So I'm very, very happy with how this is coming along. Um, I did actually set a goal for myself, which I'm kind of like back and forth on if I want to do that or not because normally I am very like goal oriented um but this is just something that I really enjoyed doing so I'm like do I want to bring that aspect of myself into this I don't know but I'm trying it out so I've made a goal that I want to finish this project by May and in order to do that I need to do 510 stitches a week on it so that's sort of my goal for right now. Um, I haven't actually haven't worked on this yet this week, but I feel like that's a pretty reasonable goal. I don't know. We'll see if we'll see if it ends up getting done. But um, yeah, I just kind of decided to set some goals for myself and see how I like it. So next I have two uh, new starts that I just started in within this past week, I believe. Um, yeah, within this past week. This first one is called Read More, and I'll put up a picture of what it'll look like finished. Um, I'm actually switching up the color scheme. I'm gonna do um, like a separate color for every letter. And this pattern is by Gibbs Smith. I got it off of Etsy. Um, and I have completed one letter. So I'm done with the M. Let me put this behind it. So yeah, I'm done with the M. I've started the R and the O, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm really excited about how this is turning out. I did it on oatmeal Ada. I think this is, I think this might be 18 count. Um, it might be 16 or 18. I'm doing two, two strands. Um, so it's pretty good coverage. These are the colors of the threads that I'm gonna be using. It's actually really <laughs> difficult to show these. There's one skein, and then I have all of these on bobbins. Um, yeah, literally, <laughs> I really like the colors together. I think they're pretty. I literally can't figure out how to show them all together, but I'm excited about this one. I'm probably gonna put it by my bookshelf. Um, and yeah, I think it's gonna turn out wonderful. Okay, so the next new start that I have, or actually the last one that I have, this is called um, Sunflowers and Roses. This is from, I got the pattern off of Etsy from the shop Grandma Be Wilden. And it is, um, actually it's like from Animal Crossing, the game. Um, it's one of the gifts from like your mom that you get in the game, if anyone has played. Uh, so this one is super exciting because I'm actually going to be doing this as like a little stitch along with my sister. Um, she just got into cross stitch, which is 
very exciting. And we are going to be working on this together. Um, we kind of figured we would at least do an hour a week where we kind of hop on a phone call and just stitch for an hour. And then we can work on it outside of those phone calls as well. Um, but that'll at least kind of just ensure that we're getting some progress done on this. So we had our first phone call this, this week and I got that much done. Let me put this behind it. So I just did some of the lighter yellow on the top sunflower and I think I did a little bit of the, the bottom sunflower too. So that is where I'm at with that one. So I had just realized too that this needle minder is perfect for this um, project because it's Nintendo. So um, yeah, that one's going to be fun. I'm excited about it. I'm so excited to be working on something with my sister. It's the best. So that one will probably be a pretty quick stitch. The last um, project that I was going to show you is actually not my whip, but it's my husband's. He's been working on this cross stitch pattern. This is actually one of the first ones that I bought off of Etsy when I first started cross stitching and I just never got around to doing it. So he is, he has been working on this one. Um, and it's just been fun. We can stitch together and it's, it's just been a fun time. So this is called Outer Space. It's by Annabelle James. Um, and he, I'm pretty sure is actually almost done or might actually be done. Um, but this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so good. So this is on charcoal Ada, 14 count. I believe he's using two, two threads, two strands. So yeah, that's been what my husband has been working on. Next, I do have some purchases. Um, or actually, I'll show the finishes first. Um, I showed this last time, it was almost finished, but not quite, so I just figured I'd show it fully finished. Uh, this is Chunky Cat by Flossy Fox Chop. This one is just super, super adorable. And it was a fun, um, definitely a fun first project for linen. Lastly, my other finish is the Wizard Bookmark by Little Lucy Things on Etsy. And there it is. So I used 14 count Ada, black Ada. And then I used this like neon green thread that I got from Michaels and just like a, it's not DMC, it's just a like generic thread pack. Uh, and then I just put some uh, felt, black felt on the back. I used the heat and bond to finish it off. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It just, it looks so cool. It just makes you wanna read some fantasy. So yeah, my little bookmark. I do have some purchases. Um, I did buy a few, well I bought one pattern, one kit, and then I got a bunch of stuff at the thrift store. Normally the thrift store near me doesn't really have any cross stitch stuff or I haven't gotten lucky at least in the past, but this time we went and they had a ton of cross stitch stuff. So I picked some stuff up, I got some frames and I'll show you. So first things first, I got this pattern from Etsy. It's by Hanny B Designs and it's called Wonderful Wildflowers. This is what it looks like. I adore this. I love the song. Um, I actually, my dad, he made like this video of me and my sisters when we were younger and we're just like playing in the backyard and stuff and he put this song to the home video and so it just like holds a dear little place in my heart um literally whenever i watch that video i get i cry so i just thought that i would stitch this and think about that and yeah i don't know i just saw it and i just knew i had to get it because i'm a nostalgic little person. Next, I bought a kit from eBay. This is like a vintage cross stitch kit. It's by Wonder Art and it is Home Sweet Home. Yeah, I saw this and I just, I loved the colors. The pattern is really cute. Um, 
and we are in this process my husband and I are looking to buy a house so I thought this would be perfect to stitch up and hopefully put in our house whenever we can manage <laughs> to find one um if anyone else is in the housing market right now I feel for you. And then from the thrift store, I got a few frames and a kit, a few kits, a book of patterns, a bunch of stuff. I got really lucky. So first, the first thing I found was these two uh, link frames. They're just these little circles and you can um, like link them up on the wall. If you can see, they kind of connect. Um, so I just thought these would be really cute for little, um, like some of the small little patterns that I do. Um, and yeah, so I picked those up. I also got this five by seven uh, Jiffy frame. I thought this would be perfect for the Home Sweet Home kit. And then I got two larger gold frames. I was kind of thinking for the Bunch of Daisies pattern um, that I've been working on, which I haven't worked on in the past few weeks, so I didn't show it in this video, but um, I thought that one of these might be perfect for that. So um, I got this one, just a nice little gold frame. And then this one, I actually think this might be my favorite. This is just a really nice frame. Um, it just looks like that. And yet there is already some artwork in here, but I believe we'd be able to take it out. So yeah, I really, really like this frame. The detailing on it is really pretty. So very excited about those, as well as this kit. I thought this was really cute. Um, it says, what is it? It's by Red or it's, it's called Red Heart by Coates and Clark. Um, and it is this little kit. It says love. It looks like it has all of the materials. It has beads, some lace for the sides. And yeah, it has all the thread, everything that you need in here. Um, so I thought that was adorable. Lastly, I got this. This is not necessarily cross stitch. I actually not sure what this would be called. Um, it's by the Creative Circle and it uses like yarn instead of, you know, like DMC thread. Um, but it has like this plastic or I don't even know if that is plastic, but I think it's plastic. This like mesh canvas and um, yeah, it's called Cabbage, Rose, and Daisies. And I just thought those were really pretty. There's a needle in here. It has the, uh, yarn. It has the canvas. And I think it's actually stamped. It looks stamped. Yeah, it is stamped. So I've never done something that's stamped. So that'll be a fun, nice little change up. So excited about that too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've purchased. The only other thing I did get is um from michael's i got this huge <laughs> organizer for my thread i figured i would share it because it honestly is pretty perfect if you have your thread in bobbins or if you keep them you know just still in the skeins skein skein i don't know um so yeah i love organizing my thread with this so i just thought i would share it it is like double-sided so you can open up this side and you have all your thread here and then you flip it over and you have a whole nother side for thread or any of your little accessories and stuff. So I think these are pretty great. I think with a coupon, it came out to like $18. So not too bad. And it's got a nice little handle so you can take your cross stitch on the go. I think that's pretty much everything I have for you today. Um, I'm still trying to figure out kind of my like schedule for videos, my ideal schedule. I think it's probably going to be like once a month just because as you all know, stitching is, it's kind of a slow process, at least for me it is. So if I feel like if I upload every like week or even two, it just would, I wouldn't have enough to show you. So, um, yeah, I just feel like that's going to kind of put the least pressure on me to try to like get a bunch of stuff done because this is fun and I want it to stay that way. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you either, you know, were working on something fun or maybe got some inspiration. But yeah, let me know what you're working on 
Um, and yeah, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.